All right, anyway, we're with a client, a friend of ours, Michelle, and her friend Matt, and she's, um, she's having a little trouble in accounting one, so we're just going to review that with some credits. What we're going to do is go do a problem in the case of Wagon, case of Wagon 8th edition, problem um, uh, uh, 3-5A. So in this problem, she puts all the number where we, okay, so anyway, let's read the first journal entry. Matt will read it to, to us. Paid 1100 for salaries due employees, of which 600 is for November. Okay, paid 1100 Now, do your journal entries on the right side over there. Go ahead. Yeah, to the right. Now, by what accounts do you think are involved? Paid 1100 for salaries due employees, of which 600 is for November. Salaries? Payable. True. So write that. Go to your go to your right the right side of that. Uh, yeah, right. Salary's payable. That's an account. She's correct about that. This is going to be our hardest journal entry, the first one in this problem. That's right. Hey, cause you could abbreviate a little bit. You don't have to be that black. That's good. Just can zero in on it. Okay. So. Um, how much do we owe on salaries, incidentally, looking at our T accounts? It's 500, but it doesn't say... That's that. right, 500. So I, what's the 500 for? What do you think that's for? The date here is, in other words, what month? This date, month, this month is what, Matt? November. November. So what do you think that 500 is for? November. Uh, October. That's right, for October, the prior month. And so now we're going to pay how much? So what's the other account? T guess on a, what do you think? Give me another account, um, uh, Michelle, do you think? Cash? True, write down cash, write down the word cash. Okay, that's true. Is cash increasing or decreasing? Decreasing. Debit or credit, how much to cash? Cash would be five, 600, is it 600 for? How much do they say to pay, Matt? Uh, which 600 is for Four November. Right, but how much in cash in total did they pay? Uh, 1,100. That's right, so it's gonna be 1,100. So you said it's in, so it's increasing or decreasing, Michelle, how we usually look at things. And then if you're not sure, look at the T account. If you're not sure if it's a debit or a credit. What is a debit, incidentally, Michelle? No, it's on the left side. That's right, <laughs> debit means left, credit means right. So you got a dot means left, that job means right. So cash is going to decrease, debit or credit? Credit. Correct the answer. So credit it there for 1100 Now, the reason why we're paying 1100 is because we owe them for two things. I'm going to walk you through this journal entry. It's a challenging journal entry, the first one, Matt. What happened, Matt, is 500 was for last month, okay. and the difference is for this month. Does that make sense to you, Michelle? Okay, so the salary payable is going to increase or decrease after we pay it. Michelle? If we're paying 600. See that T account over there? Salary's payable? Is it going to increase? So you're saying I'm going to, after I pay them money, I'm going to owe them more money than 500? No. I'm going to owe them less money, yes. true? Yes. So it's going to decrease, debit or credit? Credit. See the plus on the right side? Now we make our T accounts, plus does mean increase, minus does mean decrease. So plus decrease. is the credit, right? That's right. No, plus is on the credit side, that's right. So it's not going to be, well, it's so gonna it's going to decrease, it'll be a debit. That's right. Salary's payable. So salary payable is going to be debit for 500. You could post first. Her instincts are to post first. So that's okay when you're first learning, so do that. Post it up. You go ahead, post it up. For 600, right? Huh? That would be for 600? Not for 500. For 500. So put a little one next to that and put a little circle around it. Okay. Now, so go, go, go put it in your journal now. <coughs> Up there also. Okay. Now there's one other account involved. What do you think that is? 500 there? That's right. But don't they have to be like the same? They do have to be the same. Now one thing I'm not worried about is that the debit's coming first. There's another account involved. What account is that, Matt? Or Salary, Michelle. Salaries due? Nope, salaries payable means salaries due. Salary expense. Okay. okay. So write down salaries expense, dear. Under there? That's right.
You can breathe that a little. You have nice handwriting, though. Thank you. Now, over to your left here, make a T account. That open space there is going to be for income statement items. No, on the right of it. Yeah. Make a little T account. You got to make, you know, you got to need about four or five of them up there. So give yourself a little space. You can breathe. That's good. That's a good size. That was a good size. And just write SAL expense. You know, you could write on top or. <clears throat> okay, now where's, where's the plus on that side? You know, if you don't, I'm going to tell you. It's on the left or the right. The salary expense increase with a debit or a credit, in other words. Plus be over here. That's right, so put your plus there. Is salary expense increasing or decreasing? Increasing. It's increasing, you know why? Because it's a verb. Revenues and expenses are verbs. They describe something that's happening. So they're gonna increase. So how much was the salary expense for this month? <coughs> Will be the difference between 11 and five. 600. That's right, debit or credit, correct, <coughs> correct answer. <coughs> So increasing or decreasing? It's, de it's increasing because it's a verb. Revenues and expenses are always increasing because they're verbs. Okay, so it's going to increase. So she puts the debit up here. That's entry one. Now she posts up 600, put a little one next to that. You can write a little bigger. That's okay, though. And then post up to cash, 1100 to cash. Now, usually at home, okay, again, okay, so post that up. Now, at home, for our folks in California, Remember, put a little one next to that. <clears throat> Probably didn't leave enough space for that account. We might have to move that account receivable account to move that. Make another T account. Bro. Move that account receivable over to the right. Could you? I should have told you that. I was. I forgot it was a lot of entries. I was thinking it was just adjusting entries. Just make it to the right of cash. So we have more. We're going to need more space for that. Okay. She puts her plus. So Mike always likes the plus minus when I do problems. Your teachers out there aren't going to do that, but Mike does do that. Put a little one next to that. Oh, that was the beginning balance. Okay. Okie dokie. So now it's always good to post from top to bottom. She posts up cash, 1100 She posts up salaries payable, and she posted up salary expense. Next entry. Read to us, Matt. Received $1,200 cash from customer on account. Received uh, 1,200. We see. What does it say? We see customers uh, 1,200 from a customer on account. What accounts do you think are involved? There. Um, that's, that's how we always look at it. What account do you think? Cash. Is True. Write that down. What, so what comes to your mind? You can write down. If you can fix it up later. You see. Of course, the teacher wants the debit to come first and a journal entry. That is the proper and form. They owe or they earned it already. They. Uh, they received twelve hundred dollars cash from the customer. She makes a good point. Why did they owe it? She makes a good question. She makes a very good question, which is, um, um, did they owe it to us already? Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Account receivable. That's right. Account receivable. Is account receivable increasing or decreasing? Is it getting bigger or smaller? Smaller. Correct answer. Now look at the see the account. Is it debit or credit, uh, Michelle? This is going to be a credit, right? Correct answer. So credit it for the... For uh, 1200 Is cash increasing or decreasing? Increasing. Debit or credit to cash and how much? Debit. Correct answer. For the same amount. Same amount, right? 1200 That's right. Okay, she's going to journal, she's going to post. We'll be right back because i got a nine-minute rule here on the Internet.